Now that we introduced a first order linear differential equation, we are interested in solving one. For example, take a look at this differential equation on the left hand side. You have y prime minus 3y equal to 0. To solve this differential equation, we need to find the integrating factor, which is e2 exponent integral px dx. So let us identify what px is. px is the value multiplied by y, which as you can see, it is equal to negative 3. Now we're going to find e to power integral negative 3 dx. Going back to calculus, remember that the integral of a dx is ax plus c. So since your a is negative 3, the integral of negative 3 dx becomes negative 3x. So integrating factor is e to power negative 3x. In the next step, you're going to multiply the equation by the integrating factor. Very well. So the equation is dy dx minus 3y equal to 0. Multiply by e to power negative 3x. But here you have one term, second term on the left-hand side, and then you have a term on the right-hand side, which is zero. So that guy is still zero. We are going back to calculus, everybody. Remember the multiplication or product rule. The derivative of fg is the derivative of f times g plus the derivative of g times f. Compare this equation and the differential equation that you created by multiplying integrative factor by everything. Basically, dy dx e to power negative 3x plus the derivative of e to power negative 3x y is nothing but the multiplication, the product between y and e to power negative 3x derivative. So basically, we can write this in compact form. The compact form is nothing but d dx e to power negative 3x y and on the right hand side you have a zero. In the next stop, we're going to integrate both sides of the last equation. So the integration of d dx, it makes the derivative disappear. On the left hand side you end up with e to power negative 3x plus times y and on the right hand side the integral of 0 dx is always c. So that's how you end up with c on the right hand side. Now you can write this in explicit form by dividing everything by e to power negative 3x. So y becomes c e to power 3x and the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. 